Okay, Reading Rainbow, episode 127, Hit Cap. He was a hit cat, a hep cat, a cool cat, living all alone in a riverside shack. Ooby doo John the sax man, scat man, the cool cat man. One day, he said to himself, all I want to do is to make jazzy music. So he picked up his sax, what his friends call his axe, and tipped his baron and said, scat cat, go cat, go. Hip cat daddy has got a horn to blow, and that cat scat. He hopped on the night train, the faster the night train, and in no time he came to a city by a bay. It was a bebop, rebop city, a bongo congo roller coaster jazz in your bone city. Hip cat moseyed along, singing a song, swinging in his swinging his sax. He slipped into Minnie's Can Do on Fillmore and said, Sweet Minnie, I want to blow my horn. Big Max the Manx Cat was reading poetry at the mic, stomping the floor to the rhythm of his words. And when he was through, our hip cat hero, with a horn to blow, blew. His sax bobbed and swung, screeched, and skonked, purred, and barked. The cats in the club said, Go, cat, go! And Hip Cat wailed into that horn. He wailed his song of longing, his song of joy, his song of loneliness and looniness. And the crowd went crazy. The joint was jumping, toes tapping, and cats bopping, chairs dancing, and shadows hopping. Still tapping his toes and bobbing his head, Hip Cat stopped blowing and started ooby dooing instead. His new fans loved him and Minnie hugged him. Ooby dooey, blah blah blah, so wobby bob, a wama bing bang blam. He was a bad cat, a mad cat, a rad cat. But Minnie could only pay him with pe peanuts. Now he was a penniless hip cat daddy -o with a tail to tell and a tail to wail. He hit all the jazz joints in town, looking for a gig that would pay the rent. He was getting tired of living in a tent, but the joints were owned by the top dogs. If cats wanted to make it, they couldn't fake it. He said, if dogs can run free, why not me? So Ubi Doo played his sax under the bridges. He played in the fog, and he played on the ridges. He played all day, and he played all night. He played for no pay, but he kept up the fight. But he had to eat, and there was no money in sight. So he played his sax at all the tourist traps. Tourists with cameras tossed coins in his cap. Then he became a short order cook at the doggy diner. But he knew he could do something a whole lot finer. One night, he slipped back into Minnie's can do. Minnie said, Ooby Doo, how do you do? Ooby Doo said, I'm feeling kind of flu. Minnie said, Sing it, you can do. Big Max and some minx cats and cats and minx were jamming on their axes, playing some licks. They said, who was that cat? The cat from the six. Then they remembered and shouted, ooby doo, do what you do. Let the cats out of the zoo. So he blew his horn, all bluesy and forlorn. Then he started singing better than ever, remembering the river where he was born. Ooby dooby blah blah blah. So I be bob, I want my be bang bang. Shoot me why, 
دلی مکن ازن گلی دو بی دو بی بلا Then Ubi Doo go everybody away with his horn. And pretty soon word got around. Even the top dogs paid top dollar for Ubi Doo to wail at all the clubs. He played in the hungry eye. He played in the hungry you. He played in the purple onion. And when he was through, the crowds went hog wild. Now wherever he went, he went in style. He tore down his tent and paid the rent. He ate all, he ate tall ice creams and paid all his all his bills. They called him a jazz music a jazz magician, a great musician, and a poet of the blues. And when he rode the cable cars over the hills, his feet flew out in his shiny new shoes. Ubi Doo shouted, "Do what you love to do and do it well." He was a hip cat, Daddy O, with a tale to tell. He told it with his music, and his ooby doo wa dee wa shoot me with a. My cat is a kitty, and we play all day. Even the fat cats and the river rats back home listen to his music on the radio. They called him One Cool Daddy O. He was a hip cat, a head cat, a cool cat, a bad mad rat cat. Ooby doo John the sax man scat man. The long, sleek cat man. The end.